Welcome back to round two of Friend or Foe. Well, look at Crystal and Greg. You guys have $1,000 in your trust fund. You're trailing Thelma and Jeff, who have $1,500. But in round two, anything can happen because we doubled the value of each question to $1,000. You guys ready to play once more? Yeah. All right, here's your first question. And first, I'm going to give you your four possible choices. Carter, Clinton, Reagan, or Roosevelt? Who is the only U.S. president to ever get a divorce and begin? Don't Jimmy Carter? Know. I don't know. I'm, gonna, I'm um, guessing. Okay, let's go with that. Okay, you that. think so? All right, yeah. Okay. Okay. Reagan or Roosevelt? Let's go Roosevelt. Roosevelt? Yeah. Yeah, all right, our two teams have locked. Semi-klepto Thelma, you and Jeff, the girl tosser, locked on Carter. Crystal, the church lady, and Greg, peas in a glass, you guys locked on Roosevelt. The correct answer is Reagan. Remember, he divorced that lady from Falcon Crest. Yeah. No one's divorced. Shoot. Here's your next question. Oh Eyes cast down, okay. playing dumb, nervous laughter, or hands in pockets. According to NoDeception.com, which is not a sign that someone is lying? And begin. I say playing dumb. Yeah, playing dumb. Playing dumb. I'll that. It seems something that's more manipulative, okay. maybe. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> All right, both teams have locked on playing dumb. What? They did? The correct answer is hands in pockets. Oh my gosh, what? Are we... Yeah, it's not a sign that someone is lying, but it is a sign that someone's having a party in their pants. <laughs> I like it. Here's your next question Korean War, Crimean War, Civil War, or Spanish American War? Which war did Nurse Florence Nightingale serve in? And begin! Let's go with Spanish American. Okay, I'll I go like with Spanish that. Spanish American. American. Sounds all right. better to me. Makes make. sense. Okay. Civil War? Yeah. All right. I'm not even sure. I'm not Either. sure. And our two teams have locked. Thelma, you and Jeff locked on Spanish American War. Or Crystal and Greg locked on the Civil War. The correct answer is Crimean War. Oh, oh it's just so <laughs> frustrating because no one scored on that question either, and I just want to bang my head against the desk. Oh. Thelma, you and Jeff have 1,500 in your trust fund. Nothing's changed since the beginning of the round, but you're still in the lead. Crystal, you and Greg have $1,000. If you get this one right and they get it wrong, you may be moving on to the final round. Listen carefully, people. Fourth and final question of round two. Two, three, four, or five. How many of the seven dwarfs have names that don't end in Y? And begin. I'm gonna go with two, because everybody else ends with a Y, right? I think so. I think I think so. Okay, let's go with two. 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 Both teams have locked on two. And the correct answer is two. Yeah! yeah! Doc and Bashful are the only two dwarves whose names don't end in Y. Everyone forgets about Doc. <laughs> and that means with $2,500, Thelma and Jeff are doing some sort of a crazy booty dance. You're also moving on to the final round. Congratulations, guys. Oh, Crystal and Greg, I'm so sorry. With $2,000 in your trust fund, it's just not enough to keep you two in the game, cute as you are. So I'm going to ask you, come on out of that there hut and walk over to the trust box to choose friend or foe. So sorry. Greg, welcome to the trust box. Your trust fund is worth $2,000. Not bad. And before you make any decisions, let's review about one another. Now, you, you peed in a glass before. <laughs> are you, are you going to pee in Crystal's glass today? No. Can she trust you? Of course. Why'd you pick her? I read energy pretty well from people, and you she do? just seems like a sweetheart. All right, man. Peace. Yeah. Right. <laughs> All right, now, no, Crystal. You're a religious woman. You go to church a lot. Mm -hmm. That's a very respectable thing. But you, you sort of screwed your credit card company out of $200. How could you do that? That was a long time ago. So they all say that. But time does not heal all wounds, no. especially in the heart. Well, I, I, God forgave me for that, I guess. See, it's all right. <laughs> we'll look in each other's eyes because, baby, the energy and the sparks are flying here. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to ask each of you to slip a hand inside the trust box because it's time to choose friend or foe. You ready? All 
Right, time's up. Crystal and Greg, your decision is locked. Please place your hands on the table. $2,000 is on the line. Let's see what you guys have decided to do with it. Oh, Greg, who's a friend? Who's a foe? You went friend and you went foe. Oh. Oh. Sinner! Sinner! Oh, Greg, honey, let's pray. Oh, dear Lord. That hurts my man's feelings. Oh, well, bet you didn't read that energy, did you? When we return, money and alliances will be on the line as our two remaining players go for the big money and then go bumper to bumper to determine if they're friend or foe. We'll be right back.